Hello to you all. I hope that you are well and uh, in a good mood, since I have to talk about a very interesting issues, that one of uh, crop rotation and diversification. I am Edoardo Cosantini. I am president-elect of the International Union of Soil Sciences, and I was a coordinating expert in the workshop of Cropping for the Future, Networking for Crop Rotation and Crop Diversification. This workshop was held in the Netherlands in the year 2019, and it was all about boosting agroecology through the development of crop rotation and diversification. We had to answer to a set of questions, starting from what have we understood about using crop rotation and diversification to sustain crop ecosystem services, and then which are the promising techniques and innovation, uh, which are the main knowledge gaps uh, and open issues, uh, which are the possibilities and opportunities for future collaboration and knowledge exchange. So uh, 75 uh, experts uh, coming all over Europe uh, met to exchange experiences and then identifying common challenges, uh, presenting ideas for future collaboration. And we had also the opportunity to, to have a field visit into farms. The work shop was organized in clusters, so people grouped in six clusters. The first one was on tree crops and agroforestry, and then arable lands, grasslands and meadows, farm strategies, ecological infrastructure, and ecosystem services provided by crop rotation and diversification. The first result of the workshop was acknowledging that crop rotation and diversification is based on enhancing the complexity of biological cycles. Through the implementation of different techniques, starting from the field, implementing rotation, intercropping, agroforestry, passing through the landscape dimension uh, uh, with a spatial arrangement of ecological infrastructure. So there is a, a scale dimension in the practical application of crop rotation and diversification. In particular, about ecological infrastructure, uh, they were acknowledged as being very, very important to reduce water pollution and soil water and wind erosion through the implementation of, of, uh, set of, of special infrastructure like buffer zones, waterways, cover crops, grass strips, and shelter beds. Diversification covers also not food system. So we uh, had the beautiful example of integration of food and not food system, integrating production of crops and animal with the production of a tree for the, the paper production, for instance, but also for the integration of a circular economy uh, through the, uh, the spreading of uh, waste and recycling the waste. One main aim of crop rotation and diversification is enhancing ecosystem services beyond crop yield. One important ecosystem service is maximizing carbon capture through multiple crops. For instance, with the, the cultivation in the same field of trees, shrubs, grasses, and vegetables. Here are some examples. Cropping along the drains, intercropping of different uh, crops, and multi-story cropping. For instance, here, vegetables under the trees of an orchard. We had also a very nice uh, project uh, showing uh, the the enhances of ecosystem services in all of the growth and um, the ecosystem services was uh, about the soil loss reduction, increase of soil organic matter and soil fertility, biological control of pest and disease, pest and disease, nutrient retention, carbon sequestration, aesthetic improvement of landscape and increased and diversified production. So schematically speaking, the increase of ecosystem services of all ecosystem services goes uh, along with the, the increase of biodiversity and complexity at both the plot and landscape scale. And uh, as a whole, in this way, the bulk of the cropping systems 
showed an increase in resistance and uh, resilience. About main knowledge gaps and research needs, uh, we uh, acknowledge the need of uh, the study of interactions between plant microbiota, rhizosphere and soil, positive and negative impacts of allelopathic compound, and then about below and above ground interaction between crops, intercropping and mixed crops and systems, animal, grazing, crops, trees, and then the study of relationships, relationship between soil management and different types of symbiosis, between biodiversity and soil function, between soil function and their monetary value, and between crop rotation, diversification, and food quality and health. And then we acknowledge the need of new methods to measure properly in a practical way the systemic and economic results obtained with the adoption of crop rotation and diversification. And finally, there is the need of more data about adopted crop species performance and management, for instance, soil density in every region. About many innovative ideas and recommendations, uh, there is uh, the need of more investment in education and training of farmers, especially uh, in setting local districts of farmers associations. And then uh, we need new strategies to be brought into the market promoting quality and sustainability of the agricultural product, for instance, with the adoption of ecological labels. And uh, we uh, acknowledge that uh, you cannot act green when the figures are in red. So a quantitative monetary valorization of ecosystem services is really needed. And we have to set the linkages. We have to go beyond the agricultural sectors. We have to set linkages with the industry, for instance, for the production of new mechanization systems, with breeders to develop new varieties, new combination of varieties in the same field, and ICT companies to develop a smart agriculture. And finally, the large-scale organized distribution should be really involved in strategy of promoting the ecosystem services produced by agriculture. Dissemination is very important at all levels. So we uh, launched the idea of a IU campaign on the positive role of farmers in biodiversity issues, reaching all citizens and distributed all over the Europe. So it's uh, all for me. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please provide it through the chat.